Today, we will talk about how to treat high alkaline phosphatase. Let's have a look at the details. Alkaline phosphatase, ALP, is an enzyme naturally found in your liver, digestive system, kidney, and bones. A high ALP may indicate health conditions including liver damage, liver disease, bone disease, or a blocked bile duct. In most instances, high ALP is a temporary and non-serious concern. Children and teenagers, in particular, may have a higher ALP than adults. ALP rates can be lowered through a combination of medication, dietary changes, and lifestyle modifications. Talk to your doctor about whether further testing is needed. The first step is managing medications and health conditions. Control the disease or condition which is causing your high ALP. ALP is typically the symptom of a different health condition. So, to reduce your ALP, you'll need to control the underlying condition. High ALP can be caused by conditions as varied as vitamin D deficiency and bone disorders. Figure out if medications are causing high levels of ALP. Certain prescription medications have the side effect of raising ALP levels. Medications that can lead to high ALP levels include birth control pills and hormonal drugs. Antidepressants and anti-inflammatory medicines. Various steroids and narcotics. Stop or switch out medications as necessary. In some cases, you may not be able to safely stop taking a prescription medication altogether. If you and your doctor have determined that a specific medication is giving you high ALP, work with your doctor to find an effective replacement medication. The second step is treating high ALP through dietary and lifestyle changes. Eliminate foods high in zinc from your diet. Zinc is a structural element of the ALP enzyme. Consequently, cutting out zinc high foods from your diet will automatically decrease the amount of ALP in your body. Read the ingredients list on a food product if you're not sure how much zinc it contains. Eat foods that are high in copper. Copper is important in regulating the body's enzyme levels, and has been shown to help decrease high levels of ALP. Foods that are rich in copper include sunflower seeds and almonds, lentils and asparagus, dried apricots and dark chocolate. Incorporate foods that will help control enzyme levels. Certain types of food will encourage a healthy ALP level in your body. Eat foods that will help regulate your body's enzyme levels and that contain low levels of ALP. Increase your exposure to the sun. Since vitamin D deficiency is one of the most common causes of high ALP, your doctor will likely ask you to find a way to raise your vitamin D levels. When your skin comes into contact with sunlight, your body produces vitamin D. Try to spend at least 20 minutes in the sun on a daily basis to help lower your ALP. Incorporate an exercise routine into your weekly agenda. Living a healthy lifestyle, including regular exercise or workouts, will help prevent or diminish the type of health conditions that will give rise to high ALP. Tailor your exercise program to fit your physical abilities. For many people with high ALP, the condition is caused by a serious illness like diabetes, heart or bone disease, or hypertension. People with these conditions may not be physically able to perform regular gym workouts or other strenuous tasks. While it's still important to have an exercise regimen, tailor this to your physical abilities. And, the third step is diagnosing high ALP and contributing conditions. Tell your doctor about any bone pain or weakness. Many of the underlying causes of high ALP are related to problems with your bones. Symptoms of these conditions include continual pain in your bones or multiple bone fractures. Schedule an appointment for blood work to measure your liver enzymes. This will allow your doctor to detect high ALP. Ask your doctor about undergoing a cancer screening. If your high ALP isn't related to a medical issue with your bones or liver disease, it may be caused by a form of cancer. Your doctor may be able to detect cancer through blood work. In most cases, however, you'll need to undergo a biopsy in order to determine if you have a form of cancer. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.